Welcome on in on Vipe Live for another game of Halton Buffalo softball from Buffalo Ridge Park. Dan Byford flying with you solo once again as the Buffaloes looks to uh, bounce back from what was an eight to one defeat the last time out against Pascal. This time they're taking on Euless Trinity and leading things off for Euless Trinity, it's gonna be Mary Spires, the shortstop. On the mound for Halton, or excuse me, in the circle for Halton. It's going to be Lindsay Oliver once again, as she delivers a pitch just outside for a ball. One and out. Next pitch is a little bit high. Make it two and out now. It'll be both middle infielders here to start things off for Eulis Trinity's side as the 2-0 pitch is not able to hold back on it. Two and one now to Spires. And now the 2-1, just a little bit low, maybe inside as well. Three and one to the shortstop. Yeah. 
A 3-1 pitch, able to find the corner high outside part of the plate. Make it a full count now to start things off in this ball game. Right around 90 degrees here as we await the sixth pitch of tonight's contest. 3-2 is popped down the uh, right field side and over the fence out of play. We'll do it again on the payoff pitch. Full count as everyone is once again ready to go. Here it is on three and two, popped straight back off the netting and mitted back there by Ashley Gardner. But of course, as it touched the netting, not going to count as an out. Raven Sheridan was behind the dish last time we were here. This time she is the designated player for her side. Three, two, cut on a miss. Not able to catch up on the outside part of the plate. And down on strikes, that's something we saw the I believe it was 17 times last game from Lindsay Oliver. And she starts this game out in a similar fashion, one gone. First pitch is Fisted foul by Vivian Valderas on one. Valderas at second base in tonight's contest, strides in from the right side. Infield straight up, outfield as well, as that one is high and away, make it an even 1-1 one, one count. That one's cut on a miss. Would not have been a called strike, but really hard to lay off the high cheese. One and two. Now the one, two, able to get the black on the outside corner. Down looking is Valderas. Make it two down now. So with the one and two hitters going down on strikes, number three hitter tonight's catcher, Jenna Rossum, will dig in from the uh, left side. Looks at one that just misses for a ball. Readying for the one and oh pitch. Here it is. Straight back. There are some GoPros up there which I believe you can see on our broadcast camera. And they rattled around for certain. Didn't miss that one by a whole lot, fouling it straight back. It appears that Rawson was right on it. Break even pitch on one and one, big cut at a pitch that dipped below the knees. One and two. Ready and the one, two. Big cut and a miss, strike three, and the side is Cade in order. Hard to start much better for Lindsey Oliver. Three up, three down, all on strikes. You're watching Buffalo Softball on Vipe Live.
It's going to be Erica Azua getting things started here in the bottom of the first inning, second baseman. She'll be followed up by the pitcher, Lindsey Oliver, and Raven Sheridan, the designated player in tonight's contest. Digging in, getting the first crack here against the Euless Trinity side. First pitch to Azua as she takes a big stride forward and lays off. It's strike one anyway. Aniston Ramos on the mound. Delivers the 0-1, bunt down the third baseline, hustling hard, big throw coming over to first, but it's not in time. A bunt single to lead things off for Azua, as despite hard charging on the part of Giselle Bomback, just not able to get the ball over. It's gonna bring up the pitcher in tonight's contest, Lindsey Oliver, sporting number six, Digging in from the right side. First pitch to her, squares around, pulls back, runners going, throw down a short, it is not in time. So 1 0 count, as that one just skipped into the glove of the shortstop. Mary Smyers not able to get the Ball back on the runner in time. Now the one out. In the dirt, laid off, two and up. Dan Byford here with you on Vipe Live, bringing you a contest between Haltom and Euless Trinity from Buffalo Ridge Park on a day that has cooled off a little bit, or maybe we're just shaded by the trees, but it was 96 earlier. Fouled straight back, make it two and one now. Sheridan on deck and a hitter's count for Oliver. One, two, pops straight up and over the netting into the crowd, nobody's hurt. It's gonna stay one and two and a mistake on my part. I thought one of the earlier pitches was a ball, I believe on the uh, stolen base, but it was a strike as the scoreboard denotes. One, two again, big cut and a miss at a breaking pitch, not able to get to it. And that's the first strike out of the day for Aniston Ramos. <laughs> Raven Sheridan digging in now. Also from that right side. Behind her would be Rachel Harris. <laughs> First pitch to her well up and away. One and up. Holding, and now the one up. That's in there knee high and over the heart of the plate. One and one. Count even at one and one to the leadoff hitter. Harris and Trinity Cortez on deck and in the hole respectively as that one finds the black outside corner one and two. Here it is, one, two, big cut and a miss. Not able to catch up to the high stuff. Second strikeout as now maybe runner in a rundown. No, able to take third, delaying the steal off the uh, throw back to the mound. And two stolen bases for Azua, but two down in the inning. Trinity, uh, excuse me, Rachel Harris will dig in with a runner on third base, just 
one station from home plate. And a chance to get her in. But it's going to almost certainly need to be a base hit with two down. Laid off the first one. High and away. One and up. The pitch on 1-0. and oh. That's high outside corner. Letter high. It's 1-1. One and one. Now the 1-1 one, one delivery. Big cut at one on the outside half. 1-2. One ball, two strikes, two outs, and a runner at third as that one is high. Make it two and two. Promising start uh, to the inning for Halton. A leadoff bunt single, but since then, despite a couple of stolen bases, no one else has gotten it in play. And she's looking. That one on the outside corner as both sides strike out it. Uh, all three hitters, excuse me, strike out to start the ball game tonight. Six batter or uh, six outs, six strikeouts between both sides through one full inning. We'll head to the second after a quick break. You're watching softball on Vipe Live. Back here on Vipe Live from Buffalo Ridge Park, Dan Byford with you. As it's gonna be four, five, and six getting their first looks at Lindsay Oliver here for the Haltham side. First pitch in the dirt, laid off for a ball. Kylie Bonicelli grounds one back up the middle, off the glove of Oliver. Oliver throws on first in time, though, so a uh, bit of contact through the box. But Bonicelli is retired, one to three. He's going to bring in Giselle Bombach. Third baseman getting her first crack tonight, hitting in the five spot. First pitch, big cut at one that ran to the outside on one. Charlize Gonzalez waiting on there. Big cut, 0 and 2. That one a little bit higher, climbing the ladder was Oliver. And obliging was Bombach. Now the 0-2. 
Hit hard on the ground, shortstop just past the glove of Hernandez, and Cortez will get it in quickly, but not before the runner's standing at first base. First hit of the day for the Euless Trinity side belongs to Giselle Bombeck. Number five, Charlie Gonzalez. Brings in Charlize Gonzalez. Playing left field tonight and hitting in that six hole. Designated player Bailey Ferguson. That's laid off and inside for ball. Runner standing on first base. Corners are in as that bunt attempt is off the netting. And it's one and one. Looking to break even, a shake, and now the 1 1 pitch. Here it is. Found the inside corner, make it 1 and 2. Now the 1 2. Grounded softly the other way, no chance at 2, thrown over anyway, but. Making sure just to get the out unassisted at first base was Rachel Harris before thrown over. And there are two down. Runner does move up to second. Brings in Bailey Ferguson. First pitch to her goes to the backstop. Runner hustling for third base. There will not be a throw from Ashley Gardner. It's a 1-0 count. Runner advances once again. Now the 1-0 pitch. Big cut, low outside corner, not able to touch it. 1-1. One Big cut at one high and tight. Not able to come up with it. And now it's one and two. Hello Ward waiting on deck. Would be next if an out is not made here. The one, two. Hit hard and almost straight back. We're gonna do it again. One ball, two strikes, and two down. The pitch, straight back again, not missing it by much. Ferguson in from the right side, wearing number 14. The pitch is up and out, laid off. Count now even at twos with two down. Pitch. Try to find that inside corner, not able to get it. And that'll fill it. Runner thought about going after it squirted off the mitt, but ended up staying put. Don't want to make the last out. Try and score. Now the pitch with the count full. Big cut and a miss, strike three. Make that four Ks now for Oliver as she is able to wriggle out of danger and that'll end the top half of the second inning. We're gonna take a quick break, but we'll be back soon. You're watching Halton Buffalo's softball on Vipe Live.
back with you for bottom two from Haltom City, Buffalo Ridge Park. Dan Byford with you solo on Vipe Live. Right from the bleachers. As Bree Hernandez, excuse me, Trinity Cortez is going to lead things up. That's laid off, just missed, 1-0. and oh. That one just missed outside this time, make it 2-0. Oh. Hitters count here for Cortez. That pitch is not one she would want to offer at. Pitchers pitch for a strike, two and one. Just able to find the black there. Real nice spot from Aniston Ramos. Now the two one. Outside, laid off. Three and one now, driver's seat for Cortez. Cortez, Hernandez, and Gardner do up this inning. Pitch, laid off, ball four, and it's a leadoff base runner once again for Halton. As Cortez works a walk on five pitches. Shortstop Bree Hernandez will dig in now. Made a nice effort on a ball that got through the hole. Shortstop side earlier. In the top half. Squares around, and we saw both corners hustling in, but ultimately pulled back. See how the umpire called that one. That one's high and laid off. So it is 2-0. First one was not ruled a swinging strike. Now the 2-0. That's right down Broadway. 2-1. Off of first base, it's Cortez, or excuse me, still on it, as the 2-1 is squared, and that one is dropped down. Only plays to first, it's thrown away. Runners both advancing on the throw, gonna stop at second and third base, as it was over the head of the first baseman, uh, Yaya Lopez. Just not quite able to get a handle on it. It's gonna go down as a throwing error, if I had to guess. Although she was busting it down the line. So runners at second and third, nobody out for Ashley Gardner, tonight's catcher for Halton. That one's a little bit high. Maybe more than a little bit. One and up. Now the 1-0 from the circle is just able to find the black outside edge. One and one to Gardner. Break even pitch is squared, pulled back right down the middle. One and two. The 
Tisha Mendiola waiting on deck as the big cut is not able to connect. And that's a big strikeout right there for Aniston Ramos. One down. Mandiola playing third base once again. First pitch to her is in there. Strike. Letter high. That one's in the dirt. Good block by the catcher, Jenna Rawson. Make it one and one. One one to the third baseman. Big cut, and it falls off the table. Not able to connect. It's one and two. Looking to get one step closer to working out of the jam is Ramos. And she readies with her one-two. That one hit her. Everyone's gonna stay put except for Mendiola, who will go down to first base. Off the hit by pitch. Brings in Leslie Martinez, center fielder in tonight's contest and the nine hole hitter. With one down and the base is juiced, first pitch is high and away. For ball, one away. <laughs> Not all bad here. If you're Ramos, at the very least, there's now a force at every bat. Sways and the 1 0 oh is straight back. 1 and 1. Laid off outside for a ball. 2-1 count now to Martinez. Lays off a pitch she thought about offering at. Only brought the bat about a quarter around. And it's three and one. Lineup would flip over for Erica Zua if it were to get past Martinez here. 3 1 pitch. Taken all the way, and that fills it. Full count pitch. Low it in, ball four, and the first run of the game comes in to score on a walk. Brings in Erica Azula once again. Zua had the bunt single and two stolen bases. First time up. Getting her second look already here in the second.
First pitch to the second baseman. Big swing, not able to connect. Outside breaking stuff there. One run in off a walk, which was preceded by a hit by pitch, an error, and another walk. Oh, one in there as well, 0 oh, 2. Dotting the outside corner twice in a row. Ready for the 0 oh, 2 delivery. Big. Swing and a miss, strike three, and on just three pitches. It's only one out of way for Aniston Ramos to get out of this jam. <laughs> Lindsay Oliver will get her second look now, trying to help her own cause. First pitch to her, misses outside and up. Struck out her first time. Back in the first inning. Infield no longer in, except on the corners. That one's grounded hard the other way, almost over the bag, but just did end up staying foul. One and one count to Oliver now. One ball, one strike, one in, and two outs in the second half of the second inning. That one spit on, low and away. Two and one. Hit hard the other way, down the line, and that one is gonna stay fair. Rolling in for extra bases. Digging it out is Ella Ward. She's gonna throw it in, but we'll see if it's in time. Not before two runs come in to score. And indeed, Lindsay Oliver does help her own cause. Getting all the way up to third base as, in fact, it appears a third run scored as well. Yes, he did. Pardon me. She's standing on third base with a three RBI hit. Courtesy runner for her now. It's going to be Jordan Lang. And that brings in Raven Sheridan. Will be the ninth batter of the inning. Excuse me, the eighth. First pitch misses. And now only having to worry about one base runner. Aniston Ramos will look to get out of this one. 1-0 one -oh pitch, up and outside, 2-0. And, oh. That one is rolled over, foul and stays foul, two and one. Rachel Harris waiting on deck would be the ninth batter of the inning. Now the two one. Looped the other way off the netting. Will drop harmlessly but even the count at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two down in the inning, and four in. Big cut and a miss, strike three. Sheridan not quite able to get to that one and the door is eventually shut by Aniston Ramos. She does surrender four as well as her side, but uh, 
eventually able to work out of it. 4-0, that's our score through two full from Buffalo Ridge Park. We'll be back after a quick break. You're watching Alton Buffalo's softball on Vipe Live. Gonna come back a little early as warm-ups are ending here, just to let you know the Buffalo's defensive alignment for tonight. Never got to that one. Uh, right to left in the infield, it's Rachel Harris, Erica Azua, Rhi Hernandez, and Leticia Mendiola. Left to right in the outfield, it's Trinity Cortez, Leslie Martinez, and Kylie Martinez. The battery is Lindsey Oliver and Ashley Gardner. As far as that lineup for the visiting Euless Trinity side, it's gonna be Ella Ward, the number eight hitter, followed up by Yaya Lopez, the first baseman here in this inning, and then it'll roll over for Mary Smyers. First pitch that Ward sees tonight is a strike on the inside corner. Own one was a long inning, but looking pretty fresh is Oliver to start things off in the third. Helped her own side the most in that inning as it's one and one now brought in three runs with one swing into the right field corner now the one one big cut but not able to catch up on the inside corner low and it's one and two One-two pitch, swing and a miss. Can't catch up to the outside pitch. Strike three, make it five strikeouts on the day for Lindsey Oliver as Ward is retired. That'll bring in Lopez. First baseman, last person in this one as that one is off the mitt. And onto the netting, straight back, 1-0. Last person in this one, at least in the starting lineup and in the batting portion of the starting lineup, to get a first look at the plate. Helps for the Haltom side that eight different hitters strode into the box. Practice cuts on one and oh. And back in is Lopez. And the one oh. Just able to find the zone. Outer half, it's one and one. Now the one one. Same spot, maybe a little bit lower this time, but that would put it at about thigh height. It's one and two. Now the one, two. That one tailed a little too far outside. Count even to two and two. Two is in there, letter high, strike three, down looking. Make it six strikeouts for Oliver. That's gonna bring in the top of the order, Mary Spires. Excuse me, Mari Spires.
first pitch to Smyers is something off speed, caught high in the air behind second base, racing back in off the glove of Azua. That's gonna drop in, would have been quite a play. So we'll see, well, I suppose we won't, there's no spot to say hit or error on the board, but certainly a tough play. So it's a two out base runner as the top of the order and Mari Smyers does her job, gets aboard. First pitch of Vivian Valderas' second at bat is high. Valderas went down looking her first time. But Smyers had struck out swinging her first time and took the first pitch she saw just over the head of the second baseman, Erica Zua, as it's 2-0 oh now. Hitters count here for the number two batter. Hit softly the other way and Not playable. Two and one. Two one pitch. Similar result to last time, and once again, a foul ball that makes it two and two this time. Now the 2-2. Missed inside, runners headed for second base. Throw will not quite be in time. Second wasn't really covered there either. So it would have been a tough play. Hustling over was Bree Hernandez, but not quite at the bag by the time the throw came. So had to be hit in stride by Gardner. So a two out stolen base for Smyers as that one is hit down the line and foul. We'll stay at three and two. Jenna Rawson waiting on deck. This entire top third of the lineup went down on strikes their first time but working good at bats here. 3-2, popped foul out of play. We'll do it again. Good A-B here from Valderas. Three balls, two strikes, two down. Nobody in on the inning, but a runner at second base. As that misses, ball four, make it two, two out base runners. And a little bit of trouble here. Now for Lindsay Oliver, as she'll see the meat of the lineup here. Number three hitter, Jenna Rawson. Uh, just making sure here, we got no pinch hitters, of course. Still number nine, Jenna Rawson. Will look to do some damage with a couple on. That one, I believe, no, just a little bit outside. Thought I might have heard the umpire there, but apparently I uh, did not. Now the one up. That's low, two and up. So after a little bit of trouble, last inning from Aniston Ramos, or for Aniston Ramos, a little bit of two out trouble here for Lindsay Oliver. She'll try to get out of the jam. Here it is, popped high and off the netting, drops back down on the third baseline. Two and one. Her first time up, Rawson seemed to be getting everything straight back. 
pretty well on it. Okay, at least the straight stuff. We'll see if that includes the entire repertoire. That one's hit the other way down the third baseline, and Mendiola will let it go as it's foul in the left field corner. Two balls, two strikes, and two down with two on. That one's hit high and sinking into left field. A line drive right into the glove of Trinity Cortez, L7. Well, that does it for two and a half. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Four nothing, the score as the Halton Buffaloes lead on Vipe Live. Back early here again in the bottom of the third inning. Just want to give you the defensive alignment for Ulysses Trinity. It's Yaya Lopez at first base, Vivian Valderas at second, Mary, uh, Mari Smyers at shortstop, Giselle Bombach at third, Charlize Gonzalez in left field, Kylie Bonicelli in center, and Ella Ward in right. And then the battery is Aniston Ramos tossing from the circle to Jenna Rossin. Leading things off for the Halton Buffaloes here. It's going to be Rachel Harris. Harris struck out her first time all the way back in the first inning. Four runs ago for her side. First pitch is fouled off the dish. Oh, and what? Now the own one. Just missed. Maybe a little crowded there in the eyes of the umpire. Make it one of one. It's Harris Cortez as that one misses in the dirt. Harris Cortez and Bree Hernandez. Four, five, and six. Middle of the lineup due up. Now the two one. Popped high in the air on the infield. Backing up is Smy Smyers, and uh, she'll put it away. A pop out to short to start things off. Number 15, Brings in Trinity Cortez, who walked, came around to score last inning. That's how things got going. First pitch in the dirt, laid off below the knees. It's 1-0. And 
now the 1-0 pitch. That's hit back up the middle, off the glove, and into center field, a ringing single for Cortez. Standing on first base for the second time today. And a nice minute of innings. Brings in the shortstop, Marie Hernandez. First pitch to Hernandez, finds the strike zone. A little bit above knee height. It's 0-1. Pitch inside, low as well. One and one. Sun starting to set as that one's rolled over to third base. Had a look at second, but instead straight to first. A nice play by Bombach to get the sure out there. There are two down and a runner at second base for Ashley Gardner. If Gardner finds her way aboard this inning, Letitia Mendiola will get a look. That one drops in. Bell tie and on the outside corner, hold the string on one. Oh, one pitch. Hit hard the other way, but that'll end up out of play behind the first base and visiting dugout. It's 0 2. Cortez at second. And an 0 2 count to Gardner. Here it is. That one is dribbled the other way. Second base on it is Vivian Valderas, and she'll throw on the first in plenty of time to retire the side. So, a base runner with one out in the inning, but nothing comes of it for the Halton Buffaloes. They'll go down otherwise in order. Four batters, three outs. We're gonna take a quick break on Vipe Live, but be right back with more Halton Buffalo's softball after a quick break. Throw down to second has been completed. Warm-ups are done. And as both sides are ready to go for the fourth inning, so are we with the broadcast. Four to nothing, that's our score right now. Alton Buffalo's on top of Euless Trinity. Dan Byford here with you on Vipe Live on What's become a night just after sunset. Cooled off a little bit. 
was 90 around, around there, rather, at first pitch. Kylie Bonicelli getting her second look. Grounded out to Lindsay Oliver, who made a nice play recovering after getting a piece with the glove and threw on a first base. Swings hard at one on the outside corner and about letter high on one. Behind Bonicelli, it's Bombac and Gonzalez. That one gets through the wickets of Ashley Gardner, but not to worry, nobody aboard. One and one. All four runs in this game came across in the bottom of the second. That one is popped back off the netting. Make it one and two. Six strikeouts so far for Oliver, who has a pitcher's count once again. Not able to tempt her with a worm burner, two and two. Count now even as the cleanup hitter swings and misses through the two and two pitch. She's down on strikes. And do in fact make it seven for all of them. Brings in Giselle Bombach who got to third base eventually after singling or perhaps an error. Not sure how that one went down officially. We'll dig in with one down and nobody aboard. Fouled straight back. Ahead in the count once again is Oliver. Readies her 0-1 to the third baseman and finds the black outside corner, 0-2. Top four here at Buffalo Ridge Park. As the 0-2 might have been foul tipped, but if it was, it was squeezed by Ashley Gardner, make it eight strikeouts, two gone. That'll bring up the number six spot, filled by Char uh, Charlize Gonzalez. Playing it left tonight. Righty looks at strike one on the outer half. If it gets past Gonzalez, Bailey Ferguson would be next. Tries to square and drop one down. Never does pull back, I believe. Nope. Umpire making the strike sign. It's 0-2. Didn't pull the trigger on 0-2. And, and uh, even though it was not a swing, it's a called strike anyway. Make it nine strikeouts now for Lindsay Oliver as she sets them down in order and on strikes. Well, to the bottom half of the fourth inning after a quick break, you're watching Haltom Buffalo Softball on Vipe Live.
Ready to go for the home half of the fourth inning of play. Four to nothing our score. Halt them on top of Euless Trinity. Through the halfway mark of this game. Leticia Mendiola, who was plunked her last time up. Without an at-bat, will be the first of inning number four to face Aniston Ramos. After Mendiola, Leslie Martinez, and Erica Azua, top of the order. First pitch to Mendiola, well above the letters and perhaps even the eyes. It's 1-0. Looking in, and now the 1-0 pitch. That one's a little bit high. A lot closer this time, though. It's 2-0. pitch. Hit pretty well the other way off the netting and a solid play off the carom at first base by Yaya Lopez. Of course, no longer a fly ball after a touch of that netting. But still, not a bad play made on it anyways. Sure, you could have seen that on our camera angle. As the 2-1 just misses, maybe a little low. It's three and one. Three one to Mendiola is chopped the other way, but just a little bit too far behind him. So the count full now to the third baseman. Three, two, back up the middle, not super hard hit. Over there is Valderas, and just able to get it over in time, firing a strike onto Yaya Lopez. One gone. Brings in Leslie Martinez. The center fielder and number nine batter for the Holcomb side tonight. Her first time up, she worked a walk, so no official at bat yet. That walk, in fact, brought in a run before three more were brought around on a base hit by Lindsay Oliver. Start, thing, uh, start things off. Ahead, one and up. Squares again, pulls back, and it's two and zero now. And again, 2-0 pitch, and that one's in the zone. Would have been a tough one to bunt downward rather than popping up. Two and one. Off the inside portion of the bat, and Ramos has even things up here to two and two. Erica Azua will come to the plate no matter what, or at least her spot in the lineup. But first things first, it's Ramos and Martinez. 
Not able to pull the trigger on one that just finds the inside corner. Down looking is Martinez, two gone. The lefty Azua getting her third look tonight has singled and struck out. We'll try to get something going with two down as ready to go right off the bat there, but ended up foul on one. Readying for the 0-1 pitch, but first a step off. Looking in, and here we go. Upstairs. One and one. <laughs> if Azua manages to get on here, Lindsay Oliver would be next. As that finds the zone outside corner. Just able to grab a piece of that outer black. It's one and two. Offers at the one and two, but not able to get a piece. Down on strikes for the second time is Azua, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Buffaloes. Well, into the fifth inning already, and in one that is flying by here from Buffalo Ridge Park. Four nothing, that's our score. You're watching Halton Buffalo softball on Vipe Live. Ready to go here for inning number five. Four to nothing, that's our lead. All four runs coming back in the second for the Haltom side. As this one has made a whole lot of zeros outside of that from both Aniston Ramos and Lindsey Oliver. And it's the bottom of the order here for Oliver, but something to watch out for will be a third time through. Looking at her stuff. Either in the sixth or starting here in the latter half of this one as that one is popped off the netting again and another nice play at first base. That of course does not count, but good job judging the carom. It's 0-1. Haley Ferguson paid her first time. Offers at one, or perhaps takes one for a strike. It's 0-2. There was no appeal there, so. I think that one was just called in the zone. Dan Byford here with you. 0-2 pitch. Not quite able to get it with the off speed. It's 1-2. Setup was outside, spot was hit, but just not a strike. Now the one and two. 
Swung on a miss it's over the top of one. Strike three and make it 10 strikeouts now. Including four in a row for Oliver. Ella Ward in again, also 0 for 1 with a strikeout. 7, 8, and 9, as previous, uh, previously mentioned, for Euless Trinity. Looks at strike one on the outside half. And the 0 1 is away. Maybe up as well. And that one did not hit the spot. Saw Ashley Gardner have to adjust as she was holding the mitt there. Pop out of the crouch. One one. Cut on a missed. Make it one or two. Couldn't get the bat head to the ball fast enough in the upper portion of the zone. That one might have even been a little above the strike zone. And now in the driver's seat on one and two. Cut on a miss, strike three, and make it five in a row now. Also 11 on the game, and they're quickly two up and two down. Now the nine batter for Trinity, Yaya Lopez. Playing over at first base tonight. Struck out her first time, hits that one off the dirt. Perhaps the umpire as well, although he seems to be doing all right. Zone one off the foul tip. One to Lopez. That one a little too far outside. Maybe a couple of ball lengths to the right from where we're sitting toward the lefty's batter's box. Now the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. That one upstairs not able to catch up. It's 1-2. One, two. So I'm gonna miss, strike three. How about that? Six in a row of the 12 total strikeouts on the day for Oliver. These last two innings, she's been on it. We're through now four and a half innings. Be back after a quick break. You're watching Haltom Buffalo's softball on Vipe Live. Sweet Caroline played over the speakers as we return here to Buffalo Ridge Park in Alton. Four nothing, that's the score. Alton Buffalo's on top of Euless Trinity with a good part of the order coming up if they wanna add. It's two, three, four. Lindsey Oliver, Raven Sheridan, Rachel Harris. And if it gets this far, Trinity Cortez who has not been retired yet. It's 
Still Aniston Ramos as that one is chopped over to shortstop. Valderas able to get it over there in time. Lopez digging it out of the dirt. One gone. Raven Sheridan has gone down on strikes a couple of times in this one, 0 for 2. Looking to bounce back here. First pitch to Sheridan, her third time through, is rolled over, shortstop, there is Smyers, throws on the first and a nice stretch by Lopez. Two up, two down. And both pitchers really have been on it in this one, as that one is the seventh consecutive out for Aniston Ramos. Doing it with the grounder and occasionally with the strikeout as well. Rachel Harrison clears out one inside. Did a good job getting to that ball, but just a little too far in front of it. First baseman is down 0-1 in the count. A strikeout and a pop out to shortstop for Harris. The one for one Cortez on deck. Ramos peering in, winds up, throws. That one popped the opposite direction and it's 0 and 2 now. Rocking up and down on the throttle at Harris in front of one and behind another. You can go anywhere she wants, you would imagine, on 0 and 2. Or perhaps more accurately, if her coach is giving the signs, anywhere her coach would like. Here's the 0-2. Pops straight up. That's gonna land near us. And just a couple of rows down, not sure if you heard the reverberation. It's gonna stay 0-2. She was pretty much on that, underneath it, but on it, timing-wise, as it ended up going almost exactly straight back. Two or three rows in front. Here we go on 0 and 2 again. Swung on and missed. Nice job changing speeds there. It's a strikeout for Ramos, and she's out of the inning. Make it eight in a row, she's retired. Four to nothing is our score. Haltem on top through five full. We'll head to the sixth though. After a quick break, you're watching Haltem Buffalo Softball on Vipe Live. One, two, and three have some work to do as time is running out for the Euless Trinity offense. Mari Smyers, Vivian Valderas, and Jenna Rossen will look to break up a streak of six consecutive strikeouts. Going back to the fourth inning for Lindsey Oliver. If anybody gets on, it'll be Kylie Bonicelli as well.
back at Buffalo Ridge Park. Dan Byford with you from this 4-0 ball game, halt him on top. It's in the dirt, laid off, one and up. Just off the outside edge. Two and oh. Now the two oh. Perhaps inside and not gloved behind home plate. Three and oh. Rio count, gotta imagine this Myers is taken all the way with a club in need of runners. There it is. That one's in there for a strike, three and one. Still a hitter's count here, three one pitch is grounded foul. Good job working the count here from Smyers, but as well, it's been a good job battling back in from down 3-0 by Oliver. Could go anywhere from here. Looking for the sign, now the payoff. Hit hard the other way through the hole between first and second. Martinez will get it in quickly, but not before. A leadoff single for Smyers, breaks up a string of six, Cade in a row by Oliver. Vivian Valderas has walked and struck out before her Smyers had singled, stolen a base and struck out. So 0 for 1 for Valderas. As she squares around, pulls back, and that gets all the way to the backstop. It's a ball and an advance for Smyers. 1-0 the count, and runner on second. Wind up and the pitch popped up backwards off the netting. One on one. Count even at one and one with a runner on second base in the first half of this sixth inning. Four to nothing our score. Julius Trinity looking to change that. Runners headed for third, no one covering. And that base is stolen easily. The fake bunt causes third base to be vacated. And not able to cover in time. Results in the runner being that much closer. Coach perhaps asking for clarification. Has it? On three and one. Threatening is Euless Trinity. Looking to bring in their first run of the game. That one's fouled back. In 
entirely dark outside in this one now. Night has fallen in the late innings. 2-2. Two -two. Not able to hold on to it there. And I suppose I misheard the umpire earlier because now it's 32 before it was 2-2. Two two. Otherwise, of course, Valderas would be on first base. Deep breath and the full count offering. Not able to squeeze the foul tip. Just staying alive is Valderas. As Gardner had to make a tough grab there, reaching up for that one. Rawson on deck has lined out and struck out. Would not, I'm sure, mind getting the hit with runners on the corners. Popped high and out of play. Count stays full. And the U.S. Trinity side appreciating this rally here. Hoping something will come of it. In general, not a lot of offense so far in this one. All four runs came in one half inning. 3-2. That's fouled off again, just able to get a piece. Looked behind that one, but staying alive. Three balls, two strikes, runner on third base. In the leadoff hitter, Mari Smyers, here it is. That's in there, strike three. Able to find the outside corner after a great battle. Ultimately, Valderas goes down on strikes. She's looking for the second time today. And the 13th strikeout in the game for Oliver. So one out, but still a runner over at third base. Almost any out productive here for Jenna Rawson. Corners are in. So gotta hope if she makes contact, it's hard down the third baseline and past the dive. Of all, uh, excuse me, Bree Hernandez. I was uh, saying she hopes it's hard down the third baseline if she hits it down there, and she hit it over past the shortstop. So that brings in the first run of the day for Eulis Trinity, making a four to one game now. Good job by Smyers taking third on the fake bunt earlier so that she could score on that play as that breaking pitch finds the inside corner 0-1. Kylie Bocelli, uh, Bo uh, excuse me, Bonicelli uh, has grounded to the pitcher, Lindsay Oliver, and struck out. She's over two. Swings through the 0-1 pitch, and now she's behind 0-2. Rossin on first, the catcher. Bonicelli, the center fielder, looking to work out of a hole. And continue passing the baton here. Here it is. Lays off the 0-2. Didn't get tempted by one in the dirt. It's one and two. Giselle Baumbach on deck has singled and struck out. One, two. That's well past the reach of the catcher and Gardner not able to get it over to second. Best decision not to throw there after it got to the backstop, although it's a springy net. Runner coming on here. I believe. That the courtesy runner is Sanaya Bates. Bates at second as the 2 2 is cut on a miss. Strike three down swinging for the second time in the day. 14 strikeouts now for Oliver, two down. 
Brings in Giselle Bomback, who has singled and struck out. Singled in the second, struck out in the fourth. One for two. First pitch laid off, ball one. Gets away again, and we'll see if there's a throw this time. No, there will not be. Two and up. Hitters count for the third baseman hitting in the five hole. Doesn't love the call, but ruled out the letters, two and one. Wind up and the two one. Behind that one, it's two and two. That one a little bit lower and on the outside part of the plate. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, runner at third base with one in. It's four to one. Altum on top of Euless Trinity. Looking to stay that way as that's popped up off the netting and not able to make the play, which would have made the return of the ball a little easier, but that's about it. Two two again. Swung on a miss. Fifteen now in the game for all of her as she ultimately retires the side on strikes. Does surrender a run though, as an RBI single by Jenna Rawson brings in the first for Euless Trinity of the game. The lead has shrunk from four to three. We're through five and a half. Be back after a quick break. You're watching Haltem Softball on Vipe Live. Bottom six. It's four to one. Haltem on top of Euless Trinity. Dan Byford with you. First batter to hit will be Trinity Cortez. That one's hit hard, center field backing up Bonicelli, and it's over her head onto the track. Throw is in, but offline. And I assume that'll be considered a two base hit.
Make it now a three, uh, two hit ball game. Three times getting on base for Cortez. And even as her side has surrendered a run, they are poised to add another. Shortstop Bree Hernandez reached earlier and drops one down now, hustling down the first baseline. A good throw over from Giselle Bachman, uh, excuse me, Bombeck is able to get her in plenty of time. But runner does advance on the sacrifice. Ashley Gardner in now. Has struck out and grounded out. That's hit hard the other way, but just not able to keep it straight. It's 0-1. Playing a little catch, switching out a ball. Oh, one count to Gardner. Here it is. Laid off one in the dirt. Runner's not going anywhere from third base. One and one. One one is almost to the backstop. Good job getting out of the crouch by Jenna Rossum. Thank you. Two one inside. Make it three and one now. Hitters count here. That one's on the inside corner. Count is full to Gardner. Cortez on third base. A full count to the catcher, Gardner, and Mendiola on deck. Hit the other way and gloved over at first base. A little bit too far off third, and it's a double play. What a throw from Yaya Lopez to keep this one just a three-run game. We're heading to the seventh. It's now time for the offense of Ulysses Trinity to do something or go home with a loss. We'll see what's coming up from them after a quick break. You're watching Haltom Softball on Vipe Live.
ready to go for top seven. Three run cushion is what Lindsay Oliver has to work with as she gets ready to see six, seven, eight in that lineup, assuming no pinch hitters, which there very likely could be, as it's the last ups for the visiting side. Charlize Gonzalez gonna lead things off for Euless Trinity, looking to come back in this one. But their offense started late tonight in the sixth inning. The first run was pushed across for their side. Squares and that's a strike in that I believe the reasoning behind it is it hit her before she pulled it back, so it's a swinging strike. I could be wrong, though. Maybe it got a piece of the bat, and I missed it. Not sure. It's 0-1 either way. That's hit softly, third ba uh, first baseline, excuse me. Over to play it was Rachel Harris, but fielding it in foul territory. Still a nice play, by the way, as it prevents... Uh, a little weird bounce over the bag and for extra bases. Don't want to give any breaks here if you're halting. 0-2. Swung on a miss. Strike three and 16. How about that? 16 strikeouts for Lindsey Oliver. One down, two outs left to work with for the Euless Trinity side. Brings in Bailey Ferguson. A designated player today as Cade both times. Lays off one that is just a little bit low, maybe more than just a little bit low, actually. It's 1-0 and to her. one -oh is a little bit low as well, make it 2-0. Hitters count here, 2-0. and oh. That one's taking a high, tight corner. Just able to find that jam area, 2-1. and one. If Ferguson or Ella Ward are able to get aboard, it'll bring up the number nine spot. So I'm gonna miss, make it two and two now. Count is even. Looking in, wind up, and here it is. That one, a little bit too high. Would not climb the ladder for that. Is full. Lineup would turn over for Euless Trinity if they can get two aboard. That's in there, strike three. 17 strikeouts now. Another one looking for Lindsey Oliver. Two down, and it's gonna take a three-run, two-out rally to extend this one for Euless Trinity. That one just misses, maybe a little tight, maybe a little low, one and up. Ready with the 1-0. Swung on a miss out in front of something on the inside corner. One and one. Ward has struck out both her trips to the plate as she lays off one upstairs to one. Ritual in between pitches for Ward. Now she's ready to go again. 2-1. One. 
runs away on the inside corner. Three and one. Hitters count here with two down to the right fielder. 3-1. That misses ball four and staying alive is Euless Trinity. We have, I believe, no pinch hitter here in the ninth spot. It's gonna be the first baseman, Yaya Lopez, who made that nice play to end off the sixth. A double play off a line drive and a back pick to third base as that one is foul tipped into the dirt. Finds herself behind quickly here, 0 and 1. At first base is Ferguson as Lopez swings through strike two. Uh, excuse me, it's Ward at first base as Lopez swings through strike two. And Euless Trinity down to the final strike tonight. Here it is, 0-2. Just a couple inches outside. Lopez stays alive. That's low and in. Count evened up to Lopez. Working in a bat here out of the nine hole. Trying to extend things to bring the tying run to home plate. Hit on the ground, shortstop, a little bit of a weird bounce. Over there is Hernandez, high throw, and it's over her head. Looks like a run's gonna come in to score, no. No, 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 that bounced off the dugout, perhaps fortunate. Thought it might have even been out of play for a second. But I don't believe it was because no awarded bases to the runners. And how about that? A little bit of drama here. Runners at the corners. Tying run at the plate. And the leadoff hitter, Mari Smyers. Mari Smyers has singled twice already. Have a runner here at first base. Gonna go ahead and check, make sure here. Looking to have a roster. It's Olivia Tibo. T H I B A U L T. Running over at first base. That one, off speed, just able to keep the barrel behind it. Had to slow way down, and as a consequence, ended up late. Down 0-1 is Smyers. So it's Tebow at first base. Ward at third base. Tying run at the plate, and Mari Smyers. Oliver looking to work through. Hit straight back, not off by much. Myers already with two base knocks in the game. That's the most of anyone except on the other side, Trinity Cortez, who has three. Uh, excuse me, she uh, has two and a walk. So she's been on three times. O2 is laid off, went high and away. No throw from Ashley Gardner down to second base. Uh, decide amongst yourselves if that's a stolen base or a defensive indifference. Obviously not fatal if that third base runner comes across to score, but. Swung and a miss, strike three. Pitch is dropped though, throwing the dirt from the catcher. Gets away, not able to dig it out. And a run does come in to score. How about that? Make it four to two now. And now a conference. Not 
the traditional method of keeping things alive here as Smyers became strikeout number 18 in the game for Oliver. But then a dropped strike three by Gardner. A little bit of a low throw that Harris wasn't able to stay on the bag while fielding. And somehow, Euless Trinity is still alive. Lead has been cut in half. And the number two hitter, Vivian Valderas, is going to step in. Tying run now on first base. We'll see if she is activated on the base paths. Already two stolen bases on the night. Don't want to play with fire on the base pads, though. When you're down a couple. That's hit the other way to first base. Snagging it is Harris. She'll step on the bag, and that's going to do it. So some noise in the top of the seventh. But ultimately, the score will hold up. Four to two. That's going to be our final in this one. Haltum coming away with the victory over Euless Trinity. And a couple of very notable performances here tonight. Just want to go over those really quickly while we have you, if you're willing to listen. So, of course, I would think it goes without saying both pitchers did a fine job. Just one inning where runs were allowed on one side by Aniston Ramos and uh, striking out quite a few. And then on the other side, Lindsey Oliver, just two runs total allowed while striking out 18. Uh, although ultimately, the final out was on an unassisted ground out to first base. Uh, beyond that, some hitters on both sides that had days worth mentioning. Uh, for the Haltom side, definitely got to say Trinity Cortez had a good one tonight. Had herself a single, a walk, and a double. Also, Lindsey Oliver from the uh, hitting side of things, brought in three runs to help her own cause, a uh, RBI total that would have potentially been enough to win this game by itself. Of course, she wasn't on the bases there when she got the hit, but still a very timely, uh, good hit. Uh, and it would have been three to two, even without any other runs coming across the score. Uh, as all of Haltom's offense came in one inning, whereas we saw in the last two from Ulysses Trinity, with one run apiece, and things were looking uh, like Trinity might be able to force this one card there for a second, just ultimately coming up just short, but on the hitting end for them. Uh, it was quite the day for Mari uh, Smyers, who even when she struck out for the second time of the day, managed to find herself on first base and keeping things alive. And beyond that, two stolen bases, two base hits. Nothing to sneeze at. A very nice day. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's broadcast from Buffalo Ridge Stadium here in Haltom. This was a real nice game, a uh, solid all-around performance from both teams. Ultimately, Haltom comes away victorious. 4-2 to two is our final. I'm Dan Byford, and for everyone back at Vipe and everybody watching at home, hope you have a nice night. Thanks so much for tuning in to Haltom Softball on Vipe Live.